Hello everybody and welcome, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video we will learn how to create a view project with Pinia and with View Router. So let's do it. In order to create it, we have to use, in this case, I'm going to use Bit to create my view project. So I'm going to click here and get start. I will, I will go in here to the npm create part. With this command, we can create a view project. So I'm going to open a terminal. I will go to my folder that I have all my developer projects. So I, I click here to TOOF and I'm here. In this directory, I will create the project poof. So npm, I copy this npm create bit. Okay, first of all, the name. I'm going to put my view, pinia, router, and a structure because it's the basic structure. And I will put it view. I will work with TypeScript. Yeah, but you can use JavaScript. There is no problem for that. I will. Now I will change directory. So I'm going to. I'm going to my project. I'm gonna enter. Okay. Poof. Now I, in my view project, so I have to do npm install to install all the dependencies. Like it's gonna take like a few seconds. And and yeah, and after that I'm gonna do this npm run dev. With npm run dev, we can just. Uh, start the server, the local server. So we're going to have the local host activated. Okay. So I copy the npm run dev, I paste it, and let's see what is going to happen. Is If everything goes well, okay, I can go into the local host, boom, boom. And yeah, perfect. We have here our project. Tuck. That's beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. So, well, uh, let's start with view router. So I'm going to go here in the documentation and I will install it. So I'm going to stop the server and I will do a npm install view router for poof, and the magic is going to begin. I will go a little bit to the documentation to, to remember some stuff. Okay. Here's an example of a basic HTML file and we have the, Hey, the JavaScript this is the important part. Okay. Uh, all right. So right now we have view router installed. So let's open the code. So with code dot, I'm going to open it with Visual Studio code, but you can use any other. Eh? So I'm here. Perfect. And we have the basic structure of the file. We have the, the app dot view file with the import. Hello world with the logo. This, this is the first, uh, the first, this one, the first icon, I guess, or logo. Then this is the second one. Poof. Okay. And it's calling the hello world component. Edit component. Hello world. So perfect. Uh, what do we have to do? I want to create some, yeah, some bottoms. I, I think we can do it something like, like three buttons here, like home about and settings. So you click home and poof is going to be in the home page. If you click about poof, you're going to see the about page. And if you click setting, poof, you're going to see the setting page. So first of all, we have to create the views. So I'm going to create here a folder called views. And in that folder, I will create my first view It's going to call about, uh, sorry, home, <laughs> home. I will put template here. Oh, oh, oh. all right here, here we have. So I'm going to put it H2 um, home view. All right. And I will do almost the same. I'm going to create another one. It's called about dot view. It's going to have the same code. I'm going to just on a copy and paste, but it's going to say about, and I will do the same with another one called settings dot view. Perfect. In settings, I will copy the same code and settings and I save. Perfect. Everything chill right now. I have my views. This is going to be my three views. So perfect. So in order to, to see those views, we have to start doing the view router stuff. So we have to create a folder called router. In this folder, we, we're going to work with only one file, one file with this, the index. Yes. Here we're going to have everything. So first of all, I'm going to import all the, um, all the views that we just created. So first of all, we have the home view, the home view. Where is the home view? I think it's in this 
place views and home perfect on that view all right i have it here poof poof i'm gonna do the same for about about and i will do the same with settings okay perfect settings all right now i have to create a variable called roads um, it's a it's an array that is gonna have like in this case three three objects and those three objects is gonna be for all these views that i'm cross i'm creating let's see for example the first one the path the path will be the slash the normal one so when you go into that path we're gonna render this component um, the component home like that nothing else so comma and i will do the same the same the path two and now if i go into about i want to see the component called about and that's all and for the third part i'm gonna copy and paste okay so i'm gonna go in here settings and i'm gonna copy settings settings beautiful okay so now we have that variable we have another variable that is called history the history i have to to something like that to create a web history we have two options but it's this one the web because web hash history is gonna make your url with a hashtag so i don't like that i prefer my whole my normal one okay that create web history and if you look here the the same visual studio code import this part the create web history from view router perfect so um okay i have that and i think it's a i think it's a function and we only gonna have to finish this with this port const router and what this variable is gonna have is a create um create um, i don't remember i have to check the the documentation we have everything here okay create route uh, okay 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 history history gonna have create with history perfect and router is gonna have create router so if i click here router why is not create router why is not up appearing okay i'm gonna i'm gonna copy here I don't know why it's not like maybe it's for the export no I don't know what is not like mm, giving me the, the fit part but well we have to import it to from view router so well we have it here and poof, poof. and what do we need we have we need uh, yeah history we need history and we need the variable routes perfect and for finish that is for default uh, route okay beautiful with this we we're gonna export this variable that is a mix of all of this okay so we have it everything done so ah uh, we need to import this to the main part here we have to we have to import it okay we have to import um, roads we have or oh, router we have all the documentation here this one we have to import router from our file that we just made that is called oh, oh, router yeah from that part and we have to dot use router perfect we have it and the last part to see if that is working or not we have to create here the the buttons in this case I, i'm gonna be very simple i just gonna use a router link oh yeah you can use router link too perfect and we have the first one this first one is gonna go to home i i will create también this style this style gonna have a margin of zero and five pixels to the sides perfect so i have my home boot button we can say that my about about button and the last one is gonna be settings settings and we put it here settings all right all right all right we only need 
where it's gonna be rendered so here in router view so I'm gonna save it and I will do my server to run so npm run dev all right and let's see how how all of these looks I'm gonna refresh and perfect we have the home view here perfect if I click home going to the home if I click about the URL change and it's about view and we, if we click settings poof the setting view change so we have this view router working okay beautiful so now is the piña moment the piña moment <laughs> piña is like in spanish pineapple bueno kind of uh, abacaxi in portuguese so first of all we have to to install it so i have to go to getting start and npm install piña and what is piña what is the the benefit that we have with that with Pina, we can share like variables between components, between parents and children, between views. It's going to be like global, global variables. Uh, and you can access from every part of the project. So that's a good thing. It's reactive. It's, it's really, really nice to work with them. It's super easy. Eh? So first of all, we have to install Pina. Poof. So after we have the Pina install, we can go to the documentation. Well. We have to call from the, first of all, we have to call it. I think we can do it here. We go into the main and we can call it here. Yeah. I will do it before router. Okay. Okay. We have here Pina. We have to create this constant and we just have to, well, we have it here. The same use Pina. So we came here and we put it built and now we have access to Pina in our project. So what else we do we have to do? We have to create an store folder. In this store folder, we're going to have the, the, the store files where we're going to have those variables that is going to be accessed from all the projects. So we can, we can see those, those, well, variables <laughs> uh, from everywhere. So I'm going to create just one It's going to call index dot yes. Okay. Chill. And for start, I'm going to go here to state. And first of all, well, I think if we start coding, I think it's going to be working. So let's do it like this. Export const use store. So let's define an store. We can click here, poof, and the pinya is going to be imported. Perfect. We have the fine store and well, we have, first of all, the ID, a name. I want to put it main because I don't have any other store today. So with main, it's going to be okay. Uh, you have all the, all the documentation here. So, well, first the state, the state is where the variables is going to be stored. So a state is going to be a function that returns oh, here an object so um we can create a variable um, number yeah one we can create a name name is gonna be uh pina yeah it's enough and i think with that is perfect yeah 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 i think we can do it so let's go for example to the home view uh, views home so in order to use here the variable that we just created I'm gonna close this i want to i want to for example to show this pina name pina name the number so i want to do something like this and put it here like the here is going to be the name all right so to call here pina we have to open the script we have to put the lang ts and we have to put it set top all right and we have to import the use store from store. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Let's see, let's see something. And store is gonna be use store because use store is a function. So it's gonna be here. So let's see if I can access here to the store dot name all right let's see tum -tum. let's go to the about view mm, we have to 
run the, the local host. Okay, so npm run dev, we are here, and we have home. So, well, look, we have the home view and then I'm Pina. Maybe, 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 I, well, nah, it's okay. Yeah, or maybe I can put it like in a style, no, border, one pixel solid green, for example, or two pixels. All right, well, <laughs> at least I can see in this, the, the border here. Okay, we have the home view and the pinya thing. We can create, for example, I want a button that every time that I press that button, for example, change name to Roberto. So every time that I click this name, this button that change name to Roberto, I want pinya in the store get changed to Roberto. So how can I do that? Well, first of all, we have to, the best way to create that is an actions. You can, all of that, you have it in the, in the documentation, eh? You have the getters, you have the actions, so you can check it. But well, uh, here, really fast, actions is like method to, to change the state. So we can create like change name and we can put it directly. We, we can put it a value. We can put it a value and it's gonna be in a string. Yeah, we can put it. And, 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 and the name is gonna be, well, um, this, that name is gonna be the same as Baldwin, all right? So we have now changed Baldwin. So, well, let's go into the, the home view, poof. And to, the, uh, to this button, we can add the click method and change name that we are bring in change name from the store so now we have and we have to send it a name so in this case roberto so let's see what is going to happen so if i click here change the name to roberto poof nothing happened why nothing is happening let's see the the problems Ch change the name is another function change name it's not a function. Change name is not a function. No. Change name. A store. I don't get. Let me see. Increment. All right. Actions is spelled good. Actions spells good this name okay value why not eh? what is happening use store from a store this is weird this is weird this is weird let me think let me think a store is a store change name no i don't get i don't get the the, the error i'm gonna refresh I'm gonna click here. Ah, I have to refresh first. Well, if I <laughs> I just refresh the page, if I click here to Roberto, poof, it's Roberto again. Pinion has like many other stuff, really nice stuff. For example, you have like to create many, well, but, well, I'm gonna show you a very specific one that I really love. The name is like, I don't know how to find it, but it's like reset. Let me see if I can find it like this. Reset, no. Mm -hmm. Instead of restore, no. Mm, access to a store actions. I don't remember very well the method. May maybe I can. I can just try. I think is for example. No, it's reset the store. Yeah, 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 yeah. Defining a store option a store, set up a store. Reset. Oof. Oh gosh, where is that function? I'm gonna stop a little. And I will check. I will see. All right, I found it. It's this part. Resetting the state. It's beautiful. For example, you can use this store dot reset and 
all the variables are gonna go going again to the to the you know the 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 first the reset uh, situation well i uh, reset st st state i don't know i'm sorry for my my explanation is the worst but you will see you will see it and i think it's gonna be better look i'm gonna create a new bottom that is called reset that's all and what this does reset the store that's all so if we go in again to here we can i'm gonna i'm gonna refresh everything okay and now well let's see oh gosh okay we have here the name piña that is in the store here is in the store index we have the name piña so if we click roberto poof it's put it roberto but if we reset the store poof we have piña again like all the natural valve the, the, the original valve is no it's beautiful it's amazing remember too that for example if you're going to to this control truck you are thinking about for example let me show you um the structure the the store for example here there is an example you cannot destructure it for example doing this like okay i'm gonna from my store i will only only keep with the name and double cone no if you want to make that be because you're gonna lose all the reactivity if you want to preserve that reactivity you have to use the it's around here this you want to deconstruct you have to use the store to ref in the store okay it's mm, nice to to take a little look about all this documentation just to poof, 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 a little bit see because it's really nice and pina is really powerful and it's beautiful is growing every day like yeah and the community is very well eh? so well um that that was all we have the result here we have the pages so for example if we click roberto we can go to settings well we can do it too um this is the last thing that we're gonna do for example i'm gonna copy this script and we will go to the settings part for example i'm gonna open the script poof poof we have to import the store again and here settings view and we have we can put it here the store.name here and we're gonna have access to okay so in home we have i'm gonna reset it pinia if we go into settings we have pinia perfect if we get again to to the home view and we click to hey now i want roberto and you go into another view and you have Roberto. It's like you have globally access to those variables. So that's the, the benefit of, of Pina. It's like the, before the all time Vuex, Vuex or Redux in React. Um, well, I think that's all for today. I hope you, you enjoyed it. And if you have any doubt or something, you can put it on your comment. Okay. So a big hug and enjoy your day.